a long-standing invitation is finally accepted, as dialogue with a new ally could pave the way forward for better relations. What's in store for the week ahead? It's time to find out. Welcome to the agenda. Can David Cameron get the backing he needs for a proposal to renegotiate the UK's EU membership? The British Prime Minister has finally agreed to speak at the Parliament to set out his plans for how the UK could stay in the EU. His visit comes ahead of a key EU summit on the 18th and 19th of this month, but it won't be before a full house. He will attend the Conference of Presidents, a meeting behind closed doors of the eight parliamentary group leaders. Find out how that meeting plays out on Tuesday. A nuclear deal with Iran set a new course for international relations, but is the deal sustainable? A month before the deal was penned, a delegation from Parliament's Foreign Affairs Committee travelled to Iran to hold meetings with Iranian officials, an indication that EU institutions were on board with the new era of cooperation. Iran's Foreign Affairs Minister, Mohammad Javed Zarif, returns the gesture as he attends a Foreign Affairs Committee meeting on Tuesday. He said he will not hesitate to act if the inflation outlook weakens. So what will the President of the European Central Bank tell MEPs? The impact of China's economic slowdown has reverberated worldwide, with financial markets sliding. Mario Draghi says the European Central Bank will adapt to the changing situation. So could he step in to stop Europe's decline by expanding monetary stimulus? Find out what he has in store when he attends a meeting of the Economic and Monetary Affairs Committee on Monday. And now for some news in brief. Parliamentarians from across national parliaments are invited over two days to debate best practices for the economy. Over to the Environment Committee, where representatives of the World Health Organization will discuss the latest on the Zika virus outbreak. And also look out for a Europol TV interview with the MEP Roberto Gualtieri on Monday, where he'll discuss the Banking Union annual report. Veterinary medicines are set to be given an overhaul to better protect against the harmful effects of their traces found in foodstuff. Antibiotics are being targeted with clearer definitions and marketing rules being proposed in member states. The aim is also to widen the availability of medicines to veterinarians and to encourage research. The Environment Committee votes on the proposal on Wednesday. And that's all we have for this agenda. Take care and enjoy the week.